Installing the MySQL Community Server on OS X is relatively straightforward. Just go to dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads and hit enter. Once you get to this website, select MySQL Community Server. Scroll down on the next page to find the right installer file for you. Now you'll need to know whether you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. The simplest way to do that is to open a terminal and type get conf long underscore bit in capital letters. You'll find out if you're using either a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. In my case, I'm using 64-bit. So once you know that, scroll down and find the correct architecture, uh, um, the correct DMG for your architecture. In my case, since I'm using a 64-bit, I select this guy. Now, in order to download the installer file, you'll have to sign in with MySQL. If you don't have an account, you can do so here. If you already have your account, put your email address in and your password. Next, you have to select a mirror website to download your file from. Now, this takes about a minute or two, so rather than doing that and having you wait, I already downloaded the installer file. And let me show you what it's going to look like once you open it. You're going to have the MySQL installation package, and then you're going to have a startup item. The startup item essentially tells your computer to start MySQL every time you turn the computer on, rather than you having to do it manually. So start the installer package, answer all the questions. Uh, I'm not going to go through this since I already have MySQL running. <clears throat> Once you do that uh, successfully, then you can start. You you can go through the MySQL startup item package, and that's pretty much it. Once you do that, you can type MySQL from the command line, and you're in your database. Good luck.